you guys need any cards, sleeves, packs, anything of that nature, please consider using my TCG Player affiliate link. It's in the description. It's completely free, and it's a great way to help support the channel. What's good, YouTube? If you caught the stream last night, you probably saw we were testing out a bunch of rock builds. Um, so today I'm going to be playing this hybrid version that I kind of came up with. Um, based sort of on the Monster Mash version a little bit more. I think the Rescue Cat stuff with the, the Gigantes felt really strong. So we, we ended up building this like almost like Earth Aggro rat box thing based on the rock decks from yesterday. It's pretty cool. I think like uh, you get to play Cold Wave and Brain Mind in here, which um, makes it kind of preferable to some of the other uh, non-Monster Mash rock builds that I had. We're playing a sort of standard defensive lineup with Return and Call. Uh, we've got Double Caius, just to have a way to convert off the special summons. And then, of course, we got the Cat Package, which gives us some access to Synchro plays that a lot of the other more stun-oriented builds didn't have. So this deck's a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to working more with it, and I'm looking forward to playing a match today. Rock prevails, as always. We are going first, baby. Let's see how we can open up here kind of mid no wait this is actually amazing what am i talking about <laughs> sands is broken so we're gonna go charter light brigade get the Ryko. be pretty funny if i set card trooper but i'm not gonna we're gonna be we're not gonna be cute we're gonna set this normally setting book with Ryko i think is pretty good because if they mine con you just book it back down but um in this case i think i want my trag to be as big as possible so we're gonna hold off Unfortunately, they have the Sangan, which is awkward for me. Maybe I should have said something else, but I don't know. We got our graveyard full of fodder, I guess, now, which is nice. Opponent searches Monk. That's scary. Opponent has a back row. All right, we go trooper swing. Mill one, mill two, mill three. Battle phase attack. All this milling might conflict with the cat a little bit. But whatever. Um, should I set them both? Yeah, I'll set them both. I just don't want to get monked to death here. If he has pro set heavy, I guess they're just that good, but. And we can still drop Trag and have it be bigger than Airbellum. And this also stops potentially brain con I don't know books really good versus the monk play all right opponent is summon a plague and crash which we are pretty much cool with draw Raiko hmm really man that's so annoying Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh my god, I hate Dust Shoot so much. Why didn't they do it last turn? Why did they take Guardian? That's like the worst one. I can't even summon it. Alright, I guess I have to set this. No, wait. I have a better idea. Let's like play around Minecon. I bet they, like, the only conceivable reason you would take Guardian is if you have mind control in your hand. That's, like, the only reason I can possibly think of. So we're just gonna be, like, cute and summon the Raikou and attack. <sighs> I'm gonna use this to clear the back row. Get rid of that. 
No more traps done for the opponent. They had the traps done. I'm surprised they didn't just go for it. All right. So we got options. Should I use the brain control or should I use my own guy? Or should I do neither of those things? Uh, if the book were still in my hand, this would be so good, because I'd have a spell. I could do both. But I don't. Alright, let's use the brain control. At least this way we get to rip a card. If the back row is truly something that disrupts the monk synchro play. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hit the middle one. All right, that was not a very good rip. So I think we just go Arcanite and take care of the back row. Oh crap, I actually don't play Arcanite. That's dumb. Oh, this extra deck was built when I had the Monster Mash version and Arcanite wasn't in there. <laughs> Whew. Because I couldn't make it That's so dumb, actually. If I had been able to make Arcanite, I could just pop this stupid back row. I gotta fix the extra, then. Return is very dead right now. Let's attack. Tomato. We don't care about that. Even a little bit. Krebons. What the hell's the opponent's deck, actually? They're on some whack shit. I don't know. If I end up losing because of the set card, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be mad at myself for not thinking to switch up the extra before I took the deck out for a spin. We milled all our Gigantes. This return is never going to be freaking live. <laughs> Uh, let's just attack. Compulsory? What the hell is my opponent's deck? <laughs> They're playing the dumbest shit cards. <laughs> let's take the 12. Draw, Sangan. Set the Sangan, pass. Is there something good we can get off this? I don't even know. Blind Typhoon the Mirror Force. I love when my opponent gets rewarded for bad plays. I do love it. You're staring at two back row and you blind Typhoon. Why? That's so bad, man. Why did you do it? Why did I get punished for it? Well, the cat is like... I don't even know if this gets cat, actually. I don't know. It probably does, because they're on the air bellums. Fortunately, the Book of Moon stops anything too scary. Hmm. Goyo. They blind Typhoon so they could normal summon Monk and make Goyo. This is the pinnacle of gameplay. The funny part is I probably wouldn't have even mirrored. Uh, cat is dead. Okay, so we don't get that. We get the Grand Mole. Get the Grand Mole, and we're chilling. We draw, activate wave so we can force this through. 
what is their back row that they're thinking of chaining? Could only be... Oh, no, it's teleport. All right. That actually worked out really well for us. That, that wave essentially just gave us a free plus. Because it gets rid of that. I don't know. I guess maybe he thought I could kill him somehow. Some crazy, like... Play oh, god damn it. Another one. Mm, how do I clear... You know what? Let's just drop Tragodia. Let's drop Tragodia. Has the opponent used brain control yet? No. I need to think then. So I could use the Guardian to out this. We have book set. I don't even know if I want to use Guardian to out this. I might not. I might just go Battle Phase. But then we lose really hard to Gores if we negate it. Yeah, let's just not negate it then. Let's pretend like I'm thinking about negating it. Then let's attack with this. Alternatively, we can play around Gores by using it to negate now. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And then we set, and then we pass. All right, opponents on three cards. They have to use one of them if they want to use their Plague Spreader. Uh, mirror's not gone. So let's just attack. I'll play into the back row a little bit. Because we have call to follow this up. Okay, they can pulse. Now we call back guardian. And we attack for game. Nice. Alright, not having the Arcanite was really, really dumb though. <sighs> uh, that should have been an easier game than it was. We made it hard on ourselves with our... Deck building oversight. Alright, this time we get the dust shoot. Lovely. Hmm. We could... This air bell in my hand is really useless. I'm going to activate this. Mill Cold Wave, Mill Guardian, Mill Rock Spirit. Guardian's a good thing to call back, potentially. Let's just hit with Mole for now. And then, let's set this. Our opponent's the kind of player who's gonna Typhoon it. <laughs> so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be greedy. Oh no, punished. Let's see their hand, at least. Hmm. I guess it's gotta be Monk. Knock, Krebons, Tomato, Instant, Plague. So we're gonna lose a card here, which is not, not great. However, we didn't actually get punished for holding the Dust Shoot there because... We still were going to lose a card because we would have had to take the monk. We lose the call, which is suboptimal. But we can go like... Okay, so they're going to go instant fusion. This seems like a dumb play because they know we have Granmul. 
They know we have Grand Mole. Did they just, like, forget? Like, enjoy the extra deck, buddy. That seemed like a, a big misplay to me. What were they... What were they thinking there, actually? Sucks that we drew another monster, though. Now that we know about Nock, we'll just never set a monster all game. It will never happen. <laughs> Did they not shuffle off Dust Shoot? Looks like they did, in fact, not shuffle off the shoot. Lovely. Hopefully they just do something like summon tomato hit, yeah. Hmm. That sucks, actually. They drew a back row. Let me think. So I could... Maybe I should just say that I think the back row is a bluff and they didn't actually draw a back row. Oh, we've drawn so many monsters this game, man. So many normal summons. Uh, I'm going to go for the greedy... No, wait, no. There's like a 1 in 3 chance I just hit Plague out of their hand. We could just summon Rat Pass. Then they have to, like, make Brianac or something terrible like that, so. Let's end our turn. And if they ram Tomato, we get to cheese him with Dino, which is funny. He's got what? Knock, Krebon's Plague, and two? I don't know. We could really stand to draw something that isn't a normal summon. I think I only play... What did I... I play like 15 normal summons? No, wait. Maybe I play 16. I don't remember. Kaiku, we don't give a shit. Is there anything in my grave? Alright, we go rat into rat. Now we have a big brain, Caius, potentially. And the opponent is screwed up. I go Fossil Dyna. So his will fizzle. Question is, do I brain Caius here? Another normal summon. Good, sweet lord. Okay. What is his hand? Knock. Plague. Krebons. So maybe I should just try to stop him from outing the Dyna? I don't even know. Like, we've drawn so many normal summons, we can't play the game. It's kind of ridiculous. Can I just have one card that isn't a normal summon? One? How many... I think this brain... Okay. We have to use it now. Right? Like, I just have to? Yeah, I do. Alright. I don't want to use it now, but I have to use it now. Let's hit the back row. 
All right, fortunately, it's not anything. So they have Knock Krebon's Plague. Their hand does technically do nothing right now. So we're in a good spot with the Brain Caius there. I was super lucky that this wasn't a Torrential or a Bottomless, though. If it was, I would have just, like, lost or something. Okay, I drew another Normal Summon. <sighs> Why? There are so many cards in this deck left that aren't Normal Summons. I have How many consecutive Normal Summons have I drawn? Unbelievable. I don't play that many. All right. Well, screw it. What if summon air bell? Attack. Attack. <sighs> I will draw a card next turn that is actually live. I will draw. I will draw a card next turn that is actually live. I believe. One of my three book of moons. A trap. A uh, spell, like Mind Control, or, or Cold Wave, or MST, or no, Cold Wave's gone. But Spell Trap Removal, or even like a Rock Spirit, which isn't technically live, so long, so long as Dyna's on the field, but is at least not a normal summon. Okay. Punish just passing. All right, all right, we did it. We drew a card that's not a normal summon. And even if the set card is solemn, the opponent is still dead. All right, they have teleport. That doesn't work because they're under Dyna, so GG's. Whew. All right, our next few cards weren't normal summons. Yeah, let's go. We drew them all. We drew them all. They were all gone. Whew. We did pull that one out 2-0, I think. So, despite the abysmal mid-game draws that we had in game number two. But we did have the opening turn dust shoot. And it's like impossible to lose with opening turn dust shoot in this format. So, it's just kind of how it'd be. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to keep working on this rock cat build and various other rock side projects that I have. Because the decks are a lot of fun. Um, anyway, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Use my TCG Player affiliate link. It's in the description, and I will see you next time.